Hello techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to upload a file into the SharePoint folder that is by using create file action. And also we have learned how to update the existing file which is available inside the SharePoint. We have used update file action to update the content of the particular file. Now let's recall about these tutorials for a minute. Now if you see I'm having create file, let's double click on that. Now if you observe by using create file action, we can upload a file to the SharePoint site and we are going to give the parameters in such a way site address, folder path, file name and file content to upload a file into the SharePoint site. Now whatever the files we have already available inside my SharePoint site, I'm going to update the content by using update file action. So by using update file action, we can update the content of this file, which is specified by using the file identifier. As a parameter, we are going to give site address, file identifier and file content. All right, let me click on cancel. Now we have seen a one way over here, like we have uploaded the data into the SharePoint site by using create file and updated the file by using update file action. Now in the reverse format, like in a such a way, if you go back to the SharePoint site, I have uploaded these files or updated these files into the Power Automate Desktop tutorial site into the folder that is Power Automate Desktop by using create file or update file actions. Now. I want to retrieve the file which are available inside my shared point shared documents. How can I go ahead and get it? There we are having an action called get file content using path action. Let me drag and drop this actions onto the workspace. Now by using get file content using path action, we can retrieve the file contents which are available in the SharePoint site. We can get it by using the path. Now at the parameters, if you see over here, I'm having site address. Another one is the file path. Let me go back to the SharePoint site once again. Now let's assume if I want to retrieve the file content which are available inside my Power Automate desktop site, inside my Power Automate desktop tutorials site inside that I'm having power automate desktop with a folder right now I want to get the file content of the employee right in that case the first thing is that I'm going to give the site address over here as organization dot sharepoint dot com slash sites slash power automate desktop tutorial this is my site address or the URL now I'm going to provide the same site address and then the file path over here where I'm having the employee.xlsx file inside my shared documents slash power automate desktop PAD is the folder inside that I'm having employee.xlsx. Now I want to retrieve the file content from these site address inside that I'm having file path over here such as shared documents slash power automate desktop slash employee.xlsx file. Now, whatever the output we are going to get it from this get file content using path will be stored inside my get file content by path response variable. The output will be stored in the binary data format. All right, let me click on save. Now I'm going to disable these three actions because of these actions has used for the uploading the file and updating the file. But our agenda is that right now is that I want to retrieve the file content from the particular path using site address. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. Now by using get file content using path action, it will get the file content which is available inside the path of the given site address. Now you can see the data has been retrieved from the particular file and it has been stored in the byte format. Let me double click on the output response that is get file content by path response. There you can see I'm having the property over here 
that is dot get file content by path response and you can see the value this has been retrieved in byte format right but this is not the entire file content right let me click on close now if you observe in our previous tutorial we have converted a file into binary data format correct now from the get file content using path we got the binary data now i want to convert into the file format now how can i go ahead and do that by using convert binary data to file action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now by using convert binary data to file action we can convert the binary data to a particular file okay now if you see the parameters over here i am having binary data as the first parameter over here we give the binary data as get file content by path response because of it is having the binary data and then whatever the data that we are going to convert from the binary data to file we are going to give the file path over here i will select from the select file i have redirected to d training and there you can see i'm having n number of files but i'm going to create a new file over here with the name of employee hyphen copy i'm just going to give the name and then the format if you see in the excel format that i'm going to use it i'm going to select the same and then i'm going to click on open and after that if file already exists then i'm going to override the existing file by selecting overwrite option and then i'm going to click on save now whatever the binary data we got it by using get file content using path action we can convert that binary data into the file by using convert binary data to file action all right now our flow is ready let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started as a first step it will retrieve the content by using get file content using path and then the output which we got it in the binary format will be converted into the file by using convert binary data to file action all right now the flow has executed successfully now let's open the file which is available in d training employee copy let's double click on that to see the output now if you observe in my employee dot excel file we are having these n number of rows over here as well as two sheets that we are having one is employee details another one is address sheets that we are having it in my main employee excel file which is available in sharepoint right now we got the data by using get file content from the sharepoint and then we have converted and we have stored on our local right that is in the, with the name of employee hyphen copy now to make you understand i have kept the output which we got it from the get file content after that we have converted into the file format there you can see on my left hand side i am having in my employee hyphen copy excel file now if you see the same file which is available in my sharepoint site that is power automate desktop tutorial there we are having employee dot excel file there you can see i am having employee details is the one worksheet another one address is the another worksheet there we are having the same kind of thing in my output also that is employee details another one address worksheet and if you see the data also we are having as is after converting into file all right i hope you understand how to work with get file content using path action as part of this tutorial and also we have learned how to convert the binary data to file by using convert binary data to file action as part of this tutorial